How's it going guys? Welcome to another video and today we're going to be trying out this Iceland Luxury House Special Curry and this was £3.75 from Iceland. So yeah, I spotted this. I haven't had an Iceland curry in a little while. Thought I'd give it a go. Uh, all the other Iceland curries I've had have been pretty decent to be fair. So, uh, so yeah, I thought I'd try this out. Let's have a little look what we've got. So we've got chicken strips, char siu pork and king prawns in a spicy curry sauce. I mean, that's the picture. Is it going to look like that in reality? Probably not. Let's have a look what we've got on the back. So we've got cooked seared chicken strips, cooked diced char siu pork and king prawns in a spicy curry sauce. Um, I have read the reviews on this on the Iceland website. Mixed reviews, I'd say, from people. Uh, 389 calories per pack. And what we've got, we've got 45 minutes in the oven, which is obviously not where it's going. It's going to be going in the microwave just for quickness for nine minutes. Let's get off the sleeve. And uh, yeah, you can't see a fat deal because it's uh, it's frosted. But, uh, but yeah, it is, uh, it's pretty weighty. I can see chicken in there. Um, can't I can see a few prawns, I think, as well. I'm guessing we're going to have sort of peppers and stuff in here as well. It doesn't say, but uh, but I'm guessing we do. Uh, does it say anything about... Yeah, red pepper, green peppers on the back, yeah. So, uh, so yeah, let's get it cooked, and then we'll have a closer look when it's ready. Right then, guys, so it's not plated up. I've just left it in the punnet because uh, washing up and that. So, you know, just eat it out of the punnet, why not? So it looks like we've got a mixture of things here. Let's have a little closer look. Um, so, yeah. Looks like plenty of chicken in there, got some peppers, uh, there's the pork, actually looks like beef to be fair, but it is pork. Got a few prawns dotted around I reckon as well. So yeah, let's uh, let's get stuck into it. So the sauce has gone sort of a nice consistency. It did look a little bit watery to start with, but it uh, looks like it's sorted itself out. So let's have a go at a bit of the pork first I think. Quite a big chunk of pork. Curry sauce on. Let's try it. That's a decent bit of pork. That really, really tasty with the uh, with the sauce as well. It does actually taste just like a uh, pork from the Chinese when you get it. Um, I think we'll go for a bit of chicken next. Again, plenty of sauce on there. Looks like there's probably more chicken than anything, but that's uh, to be expected. So, uh, so yeah, here's a bit of chicken. Quite chewy, but it's got a nice flavour to it. Let's have a prawn. I can't imagine there's going to be too many prawns in here. I think there might be only one or two, to be fair. But Shake that bit of curry sauce off there. So, yeah, these are the uh, king prawns. Yeah, they're nice tasting prawns. I'm not sure if they were going to be any good in the uh, in the microwave, but they are, uh, yeah, very tasty. Let's have a bit of everything. Let's get a bit of pork, a bit of chicken. Oh, where's the... Uh, we've got another prawn here. We can grab him. Get a few peppers on there as well. Red pepper. And a green pepper if we can get him. Yeah, let's try it all together. Yeah, it tastes decent all together to be fair. Um, the curry sauce itself, it doesn't quite taste like an, a Chinese curry sauce. It's got a little bit of a different sort of flavour to it. But it's not a bad sauce. Uh, it's just not quite a Chinese uh, Chinese sauce, but um, reserve judgment until we finish it off, which is what I think we're going to do now. We're going to speed it up, and then uh, we'll come back to the end and we'll rate them out of ten. See you in a minute.
Well then, guys, all finished. And I've got to say, yeah, I actually really enjoyed that. Uh, the more I ate, the more I enjoyed it. Uh, to start off with, I thought the sauce uh, wasn't really that um, that spicy, but uh, after a little while, it's definitely got a little bit of a kick to it, um, to the point where my throat is uh, burning slightly. But it's it, like I say, it's a really sort of pleasant uh, pleasant curry sauce. Not quite a Chinese curry sauce, but it is a nice curry sauce nonetheless. So, uh, so yeah, really like the sauce. The prawns, probably could have done with a few more, but I understand it's £3.75. Probably not going to uh, bulk it out with prawns, are they? Um, but, yeah, the prawns were decent. The char siu pork, really nice big chunks of it. Very tasty. That tasted very much like a sort of from the Chinese. Um, and the chicken, probably more chicken than anything. But again, the chicken was nice. Maybe a little bit chewy, but probably because uh, it's been done in the microwave, potentially. For me, this, with a load of rice, prawn crackers to mop up the juice, this would be spot on. Can't really fault it too much. Um, and I'll definitely have it again. So, uh, like I say, reading the mixed reviews that I've seen, some people not impressed, some people are impressed. I'm, I'm impressed with it. I think it's decent. £3.75 though, is it on the more expensive side? Probably. Probably. Um, you probably would have liked a little portion of rice with it for that, but it is what it is. Um, so yeah, score-wise, I think we're going to go for this one. It's a good solid 9 out of 10. Like I say, I'll definitely have it again. Let me know in the comments if you've tried this one before. Um, but uh, but once again, the Iceland curries are pretty impressive. So uh, yeah, I'm dead chuffed with that. Thoroughly enjoyed it. Just a shame there wasn't a little bit more of it. Anyway, guys, thanks a lot for watching. As always, if you haven't already liked and subscribed, you can do so if you so wish. And I'll see you in the next one. Take care of yourselves. Cheers.